my YouTubers, this is Yummy H coming to you with the do-it-yourself craft project. I want to let you know, <clears throat> starting first of all, that um, this is not my original idea. I did look at um, a couple of videos on YouTube and um, got some ideas. I'm making magnets um, for your refrigerator with your, um, some of this, this stuff that I did, I purchased from um, the Dollar Tree. So first off, this is what you'll need. You'll need um, these little glass. It's called um, Crafter Squares. And I got a bag of the clear ones. <clears throat> okay. And um, I also have a bag of blue. Um, blue color. And then I have a bag of the mix. Now the mix has like the clear, the green, the blue, and like a smoky. Uh, I want to say like a topaz smoky like color anyway you will need like old fingernail polish it don't necessarily have to be old but whatever um fingernail polish color of your choice you need some um what this is super glue top coat fingernail polish remover an old rag and some luna foil okay so what I did to cut down on this video to cut down time um, I already made some magnets but you know you could be so versatile with these little um, glass square crafty squares I mean wonderful it's wonderful okay well the video that I did see um, the lady were making she was making um, rings uh, jewelry to go on your finger and I did see a video with the magnets so, I mean, just like I say, this is not my original idea, but I know, I know some of you might have seen this idea and some may, may not because I know that you cannot look at everybody's video and just go through everybody's videos and stuff. So, I'm just sharing this little project with you that I just got through, you know, experimenting with and um, I love it. Now, I'm going to show you. This is my first magnet that I made probably about two weeks ago oh one more thing I also purchased these little magnet things they look like little buttons and they have a magnet on the back okay and they came in different colors y'all probably seen them in Dollar Tree blue um, like a fuchsia color pink or whatever okay black and then they have like like a smoky gray or something like that and that was from the Dollar Tree these um crafter squares were from the dollar um, tree and um i already had the um you know fingernail polish got a bunch of that so anyway but like i was getting back to this was my first um little magnet that i made and it has you know and what i did when i first did it i used a hot glue gun to glue it well what happened it came off now, my son claimed that he uh, bumped the refrigerator and the magnet fell off and hit the flow and it came apart. So, um, I don't know if the hot glue gun is a good idea or, uh, but what I did when I did these other ones, I just used the, the super glue. I don't know. But, I mean, each to his own, whatever you desire to use. So, what you first do with this is that okay it has a flat surface and then a round surface okay so what I did I um, painted my uh, the flat first with the top coat and and I did maybe like one two three four five I did maybe like five right and I just went on ahead and painted all five of them laid them down and make sure you let them dry I'll say for about 15 20 minutes make sure they're completely dry then you um, turn them over to the round part and paint the um, polish the uh, top coat on on top of this let that dry and um, let it completely dry because when you turn it on the flat side on the surface that you're working on you don't want these uh, crafted squares to stick to whatever you um, you're working on so you know I put a top coat on then I took the glitter these are glitter fingernail polish of my choice colors and stuff and I applied 
one coat um on the round part on the round part and um let it dry apply the second coat let it dry then i applied my um my little magnets with the super glue on and um let them sit and then what i did is just um applied another um top coat you know to seal it and boom there it is and but this one over here I kind of did a little different. I used multiple colors um, with this one. I used multiple colors and I got my aluminum foil. That's what I got the aluminum foil for. And just splotted the colors together to give it, you know, this little, I don't know if you can see it, a little effect to it. So I mixed all these little colors. You know, it's like, like a dark purple. A green lime green um, lavender like a blue and after that then I applied my um it's a, a glitter top and then once I um but you know like I said I made sure that my polish was dry once it dried then I applied the um the glitter and then once the glitter polish dry then I uh, applied the top coat again so um i'm gonna go and show you my colors okay you see i use this color for that and that's that with the and it's got like a little blue and it got the magnet on it okay then this here it's like a red kind of red and black type of um polish and it got like pink yeah and this the color like a blue and I mean yeah and that and like that now you like I said you could be versatile and you don't have to put the magnets on you could just paint your crafter squares and um, polish them with what your desired color and you can probably put them in a jar for decoration you know and um, like I said I do have, oh, excuse me, y'all. I do have the blue bag that I purchased. I'm going to experiment with that. And then I have a multicolor one. So, like I said, um, yeah, you know, you can um make jewelry, you know, the rings with it. Um, possibly necklaces. Um, um, I got to, you know, get into um researching and trying to find um how to make a necklace. So, I would have, like the necklace and then the ring to match you know and then you can match the colors with your outfits you know it, it's just it's so many 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 ways that you can do this and also uh i didn't show it but i did one trying to use my acrylic paint uh, i didn't show it because it's not dry and i decorated it and um i'm gonna let you know how that turned out you know if if it was worth you know whatever but yeah i just want to show you um my little magnets and it's it's kind of time consuming but i think it's worth it you know um i i think so but um like i said now with this one here um i did i put a coat on the back as well but these here i didn't because it all these here little magnets already have a little background color to them but you know if you wanna you know it's up to you it's your choice but yeah but this is just my little short um little video little do-it-yourself magnets that you can put on your refrigerator for decoration or you could just decorate the little um crafty squares and put them in a the jar and decorate and voila this is Yami H. Hope you enjoy. Peace and good night.